Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Today we're going to be restarting our Raja of the Rajput Right campaign. And um, I'm going to be taking it a little bit slower than I think I did last time. There was definitely some stuff going on over here that was uh, putting a damper on us. Uh, I feel like maybe I could have managed my rivalries a little bit better. Because what was happening was I would rival one guy, he'd ally him. I'd have to fight him, break their lines. Then I wouldn't have a valid rival, then I'd rival another guy, he'd ally him. And so I think it's more about managing my diplomacy better. So what we're going to do, we're going to pretty much open up the same way we did last time. Hmm. Hopefully that handles that. There we go. So let's also get a Rajput regiment. I'm going to get rid of the cav. And we're going to recruit three more men because I think that's... Yep, there we go. We're going to rival you. We're going to transfer from here, and we're going to transfer from here. Uh, we're going to wait a couple of days. We're going to ally you. We are going to put you on this so we can get some big, beefy spy network. So you can see, since we're rivaled, we get 25, and then we also get hostile trading. So it's really good. And uh, I think that's basically it. So we're going to have John Poor and Multan as allies. Just need to wait until the 12th to ally him. Hopefully nothing changes in the meantime. There we go. Very good. We need to make sure that we're keeping a tabs on all these people around us. Notably, uh, Timurids. And then we need to make sure that John Poor knows what's going on. Sir Hind and then Delhi. And Bengal, I suppose, as well. So... I apologize, I missed a couple of uploads over the last few days. It has been a quite a turbulent few days for me, boys. Uh, we got hit by another storm here in Middle Tennessee, and uh, I was without power for like a day and a half. And then uh, when the power came back on, my internet wasn't working because I assumed the internet, uh, the ISP had been affected as well. So we are gonna be going down to just one video a day on this channel, on this campaign, because it has been um, quite slow as far as interest goes. So I wanna make sure that what we're doing is, uh, you know, optimal for what the channel needs. So we're gonna be going down once a day. So we're gonna have one of each of these. And then whenever we finish up um, Antebellum with Byzantium, we're, we're gonna continue because I believe Antebellum is supposed to be getting an update here next week. Um, and Parmalion has been posting about that in my Discord. So if you want updates on that, go check out the Discord as well as he has a Discord as well. I think it's actually linked in the uh, playlists or in the, um, the channel, in, the, in my Discord. So I could no CB him right now. Bengal would join though. Okay, so I suppose we're just waiting on this. John Poor is validating his Sir Hen declared war. Okay. So John Poor didn't get called in though. This is weird. Reconquest. So no independence war. He's at zero stab. Really? Oh, there must have been an event or something. Okay, well, we're gonna hold on for a moment. Balmanis declared one Gujarat. Interesting. These guys are just allied to Kangra, who's like up here, right? Where are they at? Yeah, right here. Kangru. So let's also do these clicks here, make sure that we're getting all of the points that we can. Get that legitimacy. Do these guys here for that. And let's focus mill. So we are going to hopefully do this. Are these Nepali Nepalese? Ah, nah. I was going to say I'd probably vassalize them, but uh, probably not going to happen. Okay, the, the Sultan is not too bad. He's got Bengal in on that. So Sirhind is actually probably going to get beat up on, which is kind of a good thing. Jangladesh declared war on Delhi. Ooh. Okay. So they're in on their own thing. I don't know what that's about. They must have got stack wiped or something. So we're just going to wait a couple of months here. Get a claim. There we go. Let's get our claim right here. Declare war. Dundar. Sounds good. Three shock is quite strong. We should be able to uh, beat them pretty good. Then we'll be able to track them down over here and wipe them. The monthly tick happens, so that's really good. Hmm. Yeah, 
we'll just take the whole army and go wipe them. There we go. Something like this sounds good. And so we are going to um, try to get over here. So the thing is, is he doesn't have any va vassals right now. Hmm. This is perfect though. If we can get through this, does our other guy have any siege pips? He's got one siege pip. So let's get over there. And I did that thing again. Hmm. I need to figure out how to do that mechanic. So let's see here. We go this. Reorganize the units. Have you guys all go over there. There we go. Because we don't need him to be on that siege. Oh, come on now. How do you got a five stack, man? Put some defensiveness on there. I got a disease outbreak. I probably won't be able to actually annex him though. Because we're going to have to take him out. So what I'm hoping for here is like a white piece or something. Then Gaul's already broken that alliance. Interesting. Wow, they're in a lot of friendships. It's because Delhi dishonored a call. So that's really good. Now hopefully we can uh, win this siege before he wins it. Let's continue the spy network actually. Somehow he's making more prog- Okay, we got a wall breach. Very good. I really don't like base races. I'd rather not do it. Let's repay that loan as well. Might need to consolidate. Hmm, we'll see. He got a disease outbreak. Very good. So, at the very least, what we need to do is we need to... Take the prestige. That would actually allow me to abdicate this guy, which we will do eventually. Um. Okay, I guess I'll lose two ducats. Come on, baby, 42. Oh, come on now. Now's the time. Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it, boys. You already know. He didn't win. <gasps> oh, and I got a disease outbreak. Yep. The base race is going to end up biting me, isn't it? Yep. They won a 21% and I didn't win a 50%. Yeah, that is uh, definitely the way EU4 works for me. So there we go. Let's come up here. Come up here and see just back. So Mewar joined in on attacking them, so that's good. So they'll beat up on them, so that's wonderful. Let's do something like this. Now... Need at least 10 war score. Yeah, they have my capital, so that's hurting me a lot. Okay, cool. So Mewar's already sieging him down over here, so... That's not very helpful. Okay, cool. Well, now we just need to speed 5 it till we get our capital back. Go no edict. I will gladly take the uh, prestige for now. There we go. Now I don't need to be greedy. I suppose what I could do. What would be smart would be doing this and then vassalizing him. I think that's uh, the smart move because then we'll be able to take Mewar into an offensive, a defensive battle. We'll be able to uh, call both of these guys in and uh, beat up on them. And we could probably even release like a, what is this, Marwar, I believe. So be nice to have that guy as a vassal. Delhi's doing pretty good in their war over here, so that's good. Let's get our guys over here for some loot. Beautiful. I love loot. So these guys are no longer being sieged. We can now vassalize him. Okay. So what will happen? Yep. It will become our vassal and we will become... Defender? No. Yes, there we go. Wonderful. So then we can call both of these guys in. And 
And just like that, Miwar is uh, not looking too good. We can also get our claim here. Might as well get some claims on all these guys as well. Have you set to supportive? And improve relations with him when we can. Let's also get some spy network on you guys. Are you uh, gonna be affected by this? Miwar? No. What about up here? Mewar is up here, so let's do that. Switch over to that. Need to be careful, because he probably does have a decent chunk of men just standing around. I don't care if he sieges this down, this is 100% fine with me. And now I'm just kind of banking on John Poor coming in and just like stomping on him. That's the goal, at least. Okay, so we're doing pretty good so far. Um, okay, that's fine with me. That makes them happy, so I can then uh, pay some prestige to give them loyalty, which will make them happy again. Okay. Now the issue is, is that John Poor is occupied up here. Get another guy, make sure we're at force limit here. So I want John Poor to uh, siege that down and that. I would also prefer it if, uh, not Dundar, if uh, Multan would go down there and siege that gold mine over there. That would be wonderful. They're very close to sieging this. They probably will because they always take low percentage. They did not. I don't believe it for a second, guys. So Delhi is still, they're doing well. They're going to... Apologize, I got some, I got a frog in my throat. It's early in the morning. You guys know, I can't record in the morning. But, the show must go on. Okay, so let's core that up, by the way. So we have our guys all set up here. This is Highland, so we definitely don't want to be doing that. Um, hmm. I am a little concerned about where these guys are going to head after this. So let's get out of here for now. Yeah. Let's see if we can take this back, at least. It's a... We'll get it in two months. Put on defensiveness there. So if you don't know this, if it's under 100, you automatically get it 100%. So... That's a nice little thing to keep in mind. Uh, and so, these guys are just not helping at all. They're sieging these guys down up here, but after they take Dang, they'll be able to, um... They'll be piecing them out, and they'll 100% come and help me out, I assume. Okay, so... No, no, no. That's probably not smart, dude. Uh, maybe it is, actually. Yep, it is. It is! <gasps> no. We lose. Okay, I, uh, that's the last time I'm actually gonna back up my ally being an absolute idiot. Classic worthless AI. Taking a fight that does not make any sense at all. Okay, so... We're safe again. Garrison has at least somewhat restored. Alright, so now John Poor is gonna be helping us out now. He's done with his war up here. At least he will be very soon. Who else are you at war with? How do you not have 100%? Oh, because he has a couple of forts up here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Delhi will be piecing out of their war soon as well, and then we'll be able to call Junpour in. And that will be all the more the merrier. So as far as Maywar goes, I think I want to take these three provinces and release uh, Mal Marwar. That way I don't have to core it. Plus I like having vassals. Vassals are strong. I would prefer for them to attack here. Okay, they're going to back me up, so this is good. Might even be a white? No, no white, but... Definitely a good battle for us. They took much heavier... Oh wait, we did wipe them. Beautiful. So let's get up here and hopefully not get attacked. Beautiful. You guys don't need to attach to me though. Taking out loans. It's, it's typical. It's to be expected. Hmm. Let's get over here actually. Get this gold mine province. 
his capital Chitor is gonna be kind of annoying. We're gonna have to take a fort in, able, in order to uh, get anything. Hmm. Okay, so Delhi just uh, got very strong. Well, I mean, yes, quite. They're all cores of them, so they didn't even have to spend admin on it, so that's crazy. Okay, so our war exhaustion is pretty high right now. I assume it's mostly just because of losing our men. Alright, so hopefully John Poor will go handle that. Let's just say... Oh, hey. A new Sultan. Our heir is, uh... 423. It's a bummer that we lost him. We lost him, uh... Right here. So... We, um... Lose the two stab. But I'm just gonna pay to, uh... Get back up to where we wanna be. Let's catch these guys out. A two stack is gonna be... The more that we take out from them, the, um... The more that they're going to be hurting. So... Go with that. Help with our unrest. One more month and we can take... Stab. Okay. Let's just say, hypothetically speaking... If I were to pull you back... Would anybody help you out? Just your ally- just your rival. Or your dude. So he's got a truce. How's Delhi looking though? He would help if he wasn't in this war. So if Delhi doesn't have a big army, I think it is definitely the next call. Let's see here. Delhi's got 9,000. Okay. So as soon as we win this siege, we are going to peace out. We're going to take this. And then... So let's also switch you guys over to this. This will help us with um, minimizing AE. It's very clutch that we could get this defensive fight here. And the unrest is pretty bad, but hoping for the best here. Okay. Let's just win these sieges over here now. I'm not sure what's going on with you guys. The Allied sinned, which is kind of annoying. But still not the end of the world. Wait, they broke Why? Why would you do that? They broke off the siege. The one siege that was keeping this going. I'm, I'm telling you, dude. The AI is brain dead. That is the most brain dead thing. John Poor. Why? What would... I shouldn't even be here. I shouldn't be here. I'm gonna get stack wiped. It is hills, so maybe I'll be okay. But nope, I'm gonna probably get stack wiped. I'm so done with this. I am officially tilted now. Full retard AI. I have no concept of why that would be a thing. Hmm. Okay. Taking this clay is gonna be very important to me though. We need to build as much of a strong power base as we possibly can early on, so... Oh, I'm so tilted. Absolutely worthless. I can't believe they did that, and they're actually building up as well, because of it. Jumpor, could you please go siege him down? There we go. I'll I'll join in on this one. Let's beat up on this small the one stack here. Beat up on these guys over here. The more of these little stacks we can catch out the better. The issue is, is he's not going to let us take any clay. Let's siege down his capital. We have to. There we go. That's beautiful. Not a white, but still pretty good. 
Gonna scorch that one. So they don't uh, get on me again. So we got busted spying, so let's pull you out. Get back to spying over here. Dundar is loyal now, which is wonderful. Okay. The occupations are coming in. Now we just need some men over here. We don't have enough men to take this siege. Okay, John Porras probably end up gonna end up piecing out. Are you kidding me? He died on the siege as well. That is so tragic, dude. Okay, we have to take this. I cannot believe that. Both of my general, both of my guys died in the same war. All right. So as long as they don't piece out, I don't really care. Status quo, of course. Giant siege ticks. Disease outbreak, of course. They have rebels now. Some good in Oh my, are you kidding? Please help me siege this, please. Please help me siege this, please. Oh my gosh. Guys, and he pieced out, he pieced out. John Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to take clay in this. I am so tilted. Okay. Though I can actually... I can vassalize him. <laughs> I can vassalize this guy, which I will. And then I will have you transfer trade and all your money. You will break your alliances. Anybody that I feel is necessary. Bangla? No, I don't care about them. Don't care about them. Don't care about them. Give me all your money. Okay. Super annoying. But now we got two vassals, so that's good. We're going to improve with them as well. How you guys doing? They're doing okay. Oops. You're called the wrong vassal. Hopefully he didn't, you know, break any alliances or anything. No. So let's rival Mewar and Delhi. It's a bummer I couldn't have been rivaled before that war. Okay, improve relations with you. Keep on building spy network on you. We're definitely going to want to declare. We have a regency council for how long? Five more years, so I suppose we just wait now. Maybe we can even get some conversions done, but we'll see. Yeah, we can do that. So let's drill the army. Just need more manpower and we can probably get another Rajput regiment. And uh, not a general. Five years. This is fine. Our professionalism will go up from this and this will be good. Give us a nice little edge whenever we go into a fight. So now we actually have 11. And we, that raises our force limit a few more as well. So we're doing okay. The issue is more about these rebels. <sighs> really? Yikes. They're going to pop there as well. So I got to... Hmm. I suppose I already got my claims. That's fine. Bengal declared war on who? Coach. Support some rebels over here. Kashmiri separatists. I don't have a lot of money, but I need to be... Oh, hey, there we go. Mysticism, legitimacy, and stab. Wonderful. I love losing stability, guys. I was actually hoping I wasn't going to have any more. <laughs> A 240 air. Goodness gracious. What is wrong with us? We're struggling. Yowzers. 
on the bright side, we don't really have a whole lot of, um, yeah, the negative stability in the missionary, but if we didn't have a missionary here, we'd be good. And this is because of our negative stability. So probably we won't actually need to worry about any rebels. Let's do this. I don't care about the Ulema. Let's pay our debt off. Have you guys build up. Uh, I'll take the points. We don't have any inflation. Not that I know of at least. A little bit, but not too bad. And uh, we need to declare this war soon. These guys will both join in, but Sind will as well. Hmm. Multan can probably handle Sind. Let's, let's make sure that uh, we're not making a mistake here. Where are they at? Janpur, where's Delhi? Delhi's got 16,000. I have 8,000. I think this is the right move. We're gonna do this. And then we are going to mark all of their provinces as vital interest. I can't because of reasons. Because why? Oh, it's so annoying. Vassals honestly just make everything more complicated. So we're going to very, very, very carefully run over here, see if I can get onto these. Okay. Need to siege all this stuff. I don't know. Get out of there, dude. There we go. There we go. Wonderful. As long as I get all these sieges in my own name, I don't care. That's it. That's what we're looking for. You guys don't need to attach to me, though. I want you guys, guys to go do your thing. So, ideally, we can get Delhi. Um, that's all I really care about. More prestige is good. More admin would be gooder, but at least we have some. Diplo relation. Diplo reputation, I mean. Okay, so, so far we're doing okay. I think we can go up to speed four. Molton can get beat up. I don't particularly care. Status quo in Delhi. Oh, crap. Right, Fort and Sir Hind is going to help out. Let's see what we can come up with. So, he's lost a lot of men. I'm assuming it's John Poor doing all that heavy lifting with the fights. Uh, I didn't realize that I even had a guy over here. John Poor is going to go on in and beat up on him. Very good. Wait for that monthly tick. Get on over here into Delhi. Yeah, John Poor is doing a lot of the hard work for me. So, let's just say here... Multan would be mad, but Janpur would not if I took took uh, clay. So as long as I either give them one province or they peace out, we're good. Because their war participation isn't going to be as high as mine. Truce with Dundar is over. Hmm. Yeah, it's not worth it. Gonna need to boost our stability up. I don't want to handle rebels. Especially not in my capital state. Alright, so we're going to finish this war up in the next one. I hope that you guys are enjoying the restart so far. I am uh, optimistic about how things are going. And uh, if you are as well, show your support and leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And you want to see some more of this sort of stuff in the future. And if you want to check out the Discord or support what we're doing over on the Patreon page. The links are in the description below the video. And with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot and I'll catch you guys later. A big special thanks to my new supporter, John Thompson, as well as my other two top supporters, Palmer and Bloodbound. Also, thank you to Jonathan Crane, Jaron Clampett, Lamb the Driver, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Zwayhander, William Reed, Gregory the Bittersteel, Christopher Pegolo, and Airborne Animal 7. I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to check out the series we have linked on the left and right, and don't forget to subscribe.